right, well, let's go ahead and move on to the final topic of the day. Something that I'm really, really excited about. I love this character in the MCU. I'm so happy that they're getting their own solo movie and I could not be more excited about it. Mm. And just to show my excitement, I just got to bring in my intro video one more time. Yes, Captain America, Anthony Falcon, representing Black America, which brings us to the final topic of the day. Coming from the Hollywood Reporter, Captain America 4 finds its director and filmmaker Julius Ona. They have the exclusive. Anthony Mackie stars in the future, which hails from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier head writer Malcolm Spellman. Captain America 4 has a director. Nigerian-American filmmaker Julius Ona, perhaps best known for helming the 2018 thriller The Cloverfield Paradox. Boo! <laughs> tomato, tomato, tomato. Direct the fourth installment of Captain America film franchise from Marvel Studios. Anthony Mackie is starring in the feature, reprising his longtime Marvel character of Sam Wilson, but not, however, Wilson's longtime alter ego Captain America sidekick Falcon. That is, thanks to events of 2021's Marvel Disney Plus series, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which saw Wilson, after much self-doubt, finally accept the shield and mantle of Captain America. It's not known what the past for the character would uh, be next, but something thought-provoking is likely. Malcolm Spellman, the direct creator and the head writer of Winter Soldier, is pinning the script, while Dallin Masson is staff writer on the show. Uh, it's unclear if Evans would reprise the role, no date has been a reveal. Ona, the director, was born in Markurdi, Nigeria, and lived in locals around the world thanks to a diplomat parent before settling in the U.S. His shorts made the festival rounds, while his New York University film school thesis movie attracted Spike Lee as an executive producer. J.J. Uh, Abrams tapped uh, Cloverfield as well, and... While the studio movie Misfire, he gained strong notices for his return to his roots rebound. Mm -hmm. The 2019 indie drama Loose. Mm -hmm. The sure. neon movie star Naomi Watts, Tim Roth, Kevin <clears throat> Harrison Jr., and Octavia Spencer and debuted at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival. It garnered three Indie Spirit Award nominations, including Best Director. And so here's the article right here, guys. Again, if you're watching this via live or on the replay, there's a link to this in the description box of this video. And before I come to you, Elliot, if we look at his filmography on IMDb, mm -hmm. like you said, Captain America 4, yep. he's known for the Cloverfield Paradox, which yep. I thought was trash. Yeah. But he's also 100%. known for Loose, which I have not seen, but I've heard nothing but great things about it. Mm -hmm. So we got a good film and a bad film. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this? Do you think he's a good addition to this <clears throat> franchise yep. or are you a little bit of skeptical with his involvement? Yeah, I mean, just a couple of stories ago, we talked about the Russo brothers, right? Uh, known for their works on Community, um, you know, Marley and me. And you would have been like, I mean, when we when we heard they brought them in, we're like, wait, the guys that did what? Mm -hmm. And we saw how that turned out. So right. I'm I'm in a firm, I'm I'm out of that camp of uh, you know prejudging directors for independent films or films maybe they didn't work out because they can show if you give them the right material, give them the right tools at the disposal, they can give you something great. So I, I definitely and and speaking of great. Loose, Brandon. If you get a chance, I, I think it's still on Hulu, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of got on the bandwagon late because um, it came out in 20, I think the article said 2018, 2019. I saw mm -hmm. it uh, when it made its, uh, when it came out on Blu ray. The film is fantastic. It is a really great film about identity. And I think, speaking of Sam Wilson, still kind of figuring out his identity in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as the new mantle as Captain America, I think it's a perfect blend of his sensibilities that he brought to that film in Calvin uh, Harrison Jr.'s portrayal in that film. And, you know, Octavia Spencer, the film's great, right? If you get a chance, Luce is, is, is fantastic. Uh, and again, going back to what Sam's going through, I think it's a perfect director to really, because I, I enjoyed Falcon and Winter Soldier, but I still... <laughs> I haven't revisited it, but I'm still in my head like, wait, why was I remember why he didn't want to take the mantle? But what was the point that made him want to? I'm still kind of confused on that, how they handled that transition from not wanting to be Captain America to ultimately becoming it. Uh, and I think they're saving some of that to, for probably the movie aspects. Right. I still think he's going to be dealing with that and how the world views a black man as Captain America. Uh, and again, when you see Lewis, it's, it's a lot of like 
race uh, as far as where the character comes from and him being integrated into this kind of it's a really i don't want to give too much away but it's a really great film but um yeah i'm excited for it and as far as to to give him a little bit of slack on the paradox film which brandon i was beyond excited for that film because number one i'll I'll never forget the marketing they premiered the trailer at the super bowl and it dropped that same night on netflix which was like genius marketing yeah yeah the film unfortunately wasn't but right right. it wasn't his fault behind the scenes and jj's able the more and more i hear i just get he just frustrates me as just a creator they really pitched him to or pigeonholed him to inject the cloverfield story into this narrative so they kind of forced that into his lap to put that in the film and as we saw in the film it didn't mix well it was not very similar to 10 cloverfield lane like it was a great thriller suspense and they just threw in the cloverfield stuff at the end it was just really silly to me so i will give him a little bit of slack on he was just kind of you know new director you're gonna do this you're gonna put this in there and he's you know what i want to continue to work in his industry i'll go ahead and try to make it work and unfortunately it didn't work for him but he came back as the article mentioned to his roots and right. again loose is fantastic and i'm really excited to see what he does with captain america and uh don't be surprised speaking of again i don't want to say this film is not going to be focused on sam but don't be surprised if you see a huge ensemble right, to right. really make people excited to see captain america fourth film new person taking on a mantle and getting i think the ramifications of if the thunderbolts come up before this uh you know i think that would be a great handoff from whatever goes on in that film yeah bucky and sam getting back together or whatever happens in captain america leads into thunderbolts i think those two films are going to be more connected than uh than we imagine as well as uh our boy roadie's um armored wars story i think there's going to be a lot of kind of stuff going on with underground black market dr doom maybe doing some stuff behind the scenes so I, i'm really excited to see what they do with this film i got you man um i i kind of feel you as far as you know you're talking about winter soldier uh i did enjoy it um i didn't i mean there was a lot that i liked in the show uh i didn't like with you i didn't really care for the flag smashers you know but then again when you have scenes where the door malaje whooped the crap out of captain crunch over there <laughs> and then that episode five i mean it was a lot of great things yeah um but to answer your question about like his transition transitioning to want to be captain america I'm, I'm i'm sure you know this but it, of course it had to do with isaiah mm-hmm. uh that was his launching point they could have ironed that out more but i want to ask you do you think they should focus heavy on race in captain america 4 i think they should um <sighs> yeah you know, I, I, I on top of an ensemble cast I think they gotta include some racial elements in there and put it in the trailer to marketing, you know. Even may may even use the N-word a little bit here and there, you know what I'm saying? Just to make it that more authentic. Cause I mean, we know if I'm just who said it was on real rainbows and no, we got a black cap. Yeah, I hear yeah, you. you know it's going people are gonna be happy, people are gonna be upset in real life and fiction, whatever. So I, yeah. I think it would be unrealistic that they won't. Um, you also mentioned identity. Um yeah. I think that'll be great too. I know Zia's disagrees with me because he's a Nigerian American, the director. That I don't really care about that when it comes to fiction films, but I think that helps with the identity issues anyway. Uh, because the dude is Nigerian American, and so he's probably been over here for a while, and they they're they're connected to both groups, black Americans and immigrants. And that is an experience that I I've I've never been over to the uh, the continent. Um, so I can't relate, but I think that lifestyle that, you know, he's grown up with will help him put together a better film when the character itself has to do with identity issues and race and stuff like this. So it may be a great Mm -hmm. fit. He probably brought that up in the interview, you know, when, uh, he was going for the job. And so, uh, I'm looking forward to this though. Um, every time uh, some more news comes out about Captain America four, I get super duper excited. I will be going to the theater dressed up as Captain oh, America, as Falcon. I've worked I've wore t-shirts and hoodies of my favorite uh characters, but yeah. I've never gone full out cosplay costume. But I will do what I need to do and nice. go from hair to toe. If I can get some wings that spread as well, it's going down. <laughs> it's going it's going down, man. Uh hell yeah. I'm like for me, I I, I have never identified more with any other superhero than Falcon. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it just means a lot to me. Uh Real quick, super chat from Rabia Yamaza, two dollar super chat. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
uh you got anything else on this um no man like you said i'm i'm um i'm still building to um because captain america steve rogers chris evans portrayal the character to me is like the best character in the mcu or iron man thor you know all the main characters i think what they did with him was fantastic and i'm just really excited to see what anthony mackie can do to take on that leading role because we i mean we talked about it when, when falcon was on and when we heard they were making a film we you know we had our jokes and all that stuff but in all seriousness i really do hope that they give him uh, a, a proper story that really shows what captain america means for the rest of the phases and the rest of the marvel cinematic universe and again i will not be surprised if he is the one that's gonna you know get together all the new avengers for this next big phase uh yeah. whether it's the young avengers because right now we got kate bishop out there we got uh, isaiah's grandson uh eli bradley out there is he gonna yeah. take on the reins and you know show him the ropes and you get uh patriot in the mix and obviously stature with ant-man's uh daughter um and and all the young avengers and and also the other avengers too again where's vision you know what's going on with wanda you know she's dead but is she really not uh so i'm really excited <laughs> to see this version of captain america bring the avengers together uh yeah. again, you know the avengers were brought together by nick fury and iron man but i want to see this cap bring the team together and uh again i think there's going to be he might be a focal point, man, because they, they that vacancy right now is is a big hole in the MCU. Like, who is the leader of the right, Avengers? Right, Where right. are the Avengers? You know, so I think this is a perfect opportunity to make um, the world know who Captain America is, and and that's Sam Wilson. So, uh, and again, to your other question about race, it's going to be interesting because you know you're going to have two sides of the coin. Some people that like you know we feel like that should be in the film, and then there's other people like, oh, here we go, another woke Disney project, another you know oh, they got to throw in the race card. It, it, so it's going to be a balancing act. You know you're going to have some people that's going to be uh, negative on any side of the fence. So it's going to be a very uh, delicate situation to see how they handle that. But uh, we'll see, man. Man, oh, you, you the first trade is drop dropping in bonds. Yeah, <laughs> you drop you struck a nerve with that one, man. Not the the dumb stupid woke comments, He's man. Coming. Like I don't understand that. Like when mm -hmm. people complain, like oh, it's too woke. There's another creator on YouTube. Yeah, dude, almost has two million subscribers. He's oh, black. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but oh, he yeah. he <clears throat> comes to his viewers. Yeah, they was doing a review for the latest Thor movie, and one of his first comments was like, "So one of the comments, one of the things my people, are, my subscribers, always want to know is this the movie too woke? Does it have enough woke stuff? In Feeds it? into and it. And I, I wanted to comment, but I was like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm just gonna sit back and listen while I'm in my car. Yeah, but it's just like I know you don't agree with that. You're trying to uh resonate with your subscribers but yeah. it really sucks yeah because what does that even mean if something is too like woke or critical right it's just history it's all it is is telling the truth telling a side of the story that has never been told before and so you so we can eat what do you want us to lie not tell that's all it is it's just history it's just the truth captain it's not america woke. was fighting nazis like, I mean, it's, it's inherent in Captain America to go against all forms of evil, not just yes. space aliens. It's people right. on Earth, too. So it's inherent in the character. So Exactly. I yeah. mean, core core foundation. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's frustrating. But you, we got a director, guys, yeah. in Julius Ona, a Nigerian-American who did Cloverfield Paradox, which wasn't great, but he also did Loose, which is apparently is good. And so let us know if you're excited about this or not. And um, again, there's a link to this article in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure. And again, since we're talking about comic books, again, check out my non-spoilery Thor review, spoilery Thor review, and also my MCU films rank from worst to first. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is the last topic right there.